prone check. Should I come in sideways? Did I do that already? Yeah. Like oh man, you're killing me. I can't see. <laughs> Alright, hi there. Welcome to week three. I'm just thinking of new <laughs> There's only so many ways you can enter the camera. So, hi there. How's everybody doing today? I have my classic shirt on. Never underestimate an old man who knows Tai Chi. This was given to me by my... All right, Liz, thank you. Thanks for saying that, Liz. Um, welcome, welcome to week three. Um, I'm missing you guys, I miss seeing you guys when I'm doing Tai Chi, and the only thing I get to see is a camera lens. Uh, so, and me and Sophia, which of course is beautiful, but I don't get to see all my students like I normally do. So I had an idea because it also occurred to me, the only thing you get to see is me and you don't want to do that. So, um, I, so I, I came up with an idea. Um, I want you to try and take a picture of yourself doing Tai Chi as best you can. Now some of your smartphones um, now have timers built in or you can get someone at the house to take a picture of you. But um, take a picture of you doing Tai Chi, send it to me, and I'm going to start a gallery so you can see your fellow students, the people uh, from some of my different classes and uh, people from the class that you're in, um, kind of get to see one another. And if you want to try and include a short message, um, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to see if I can get that uh, message included. I first have to get the gallery up and working on my website and then see if I can actually include a message. If I can, I will. Uh, no promises there yet, okay? So I thought to kick it off, I would go ahead and start. I'm gonna take a selfie of myself and Sophia so you get an idea. There we go. Yeah, you kind of get an idea of what I'm seeing as I do this. I'm gonna take a couple of them. Okay, Sophia, give me a Tai Chi pose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Robert, good for you. Good for you. So, um, we are, oh, and here, so here's Lulu. Lulu says hi. See, tail's always wagging, just like we should be. Um, so, this is an important week. Um, everybody is telling us that this may be the, the toughest week so far. Um, and so this is the week that you really need to work and keeping your immune system built up. So keep doing Tai Chi, uh, keep doing the deep breathing, um, make sure that your body is hydrated, make sure that you're getting plenty of rest. Those are all things to help give you a strong immune system, okay? Hydration, rest, Tai Chi, deep breathing, all very good things, okay? All right. Let's get, oh, and thank you. I keep getting great notes from everybody. Thank you so much for doing that. I really do appreciate all those wonderful notes. A couple of you have asked about um, uh, paying me and I have a blog called Payment Information. I've got three ways you can pay me if you want to. Um, and thank you for doing that. If you're in a position where you can't pay me, that's fine. Please join us for Tai Chi. Um, we'll pay it forward, okay? Um, all right, so 
If you need a chair next to you to uh, stay in good balance, please put a chair next to you. If you need a second chair, do that. If you need to have the chair and you're sitting down doing the exercises, uh, please do that also. Tomorrow we'll be doing our seated Tai Chi at 10 o'clock. Uh, so you can join us um, in doing that seated Tai Chi uh, tomorrow also. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started for today. Traditional Chinese bow, taking our right hand and making it into a fist standing for power left hand fingers together friendship tucking the thumb remaining humble and the fist goes into the palm and we say welcome or ni hao let's start off with some deep breathing exercises long slow deep breathing we breathe from the belly don't breathe up here into the chest use all of our lungs to breathe so as the diaphragm dro drops it kind of pushes our belly out a little bit but we use all of our lungs okay standing in the wuji position feet shoulder hip distance apart slight bend in the knees drop the tailbone head is lifted by a silk thread if you want to work your legs a little harder you can sink a little lower even stand a little wider and sink a little lower if your legs are getting tired you can narrow the stance a little bit and raise up on the knees, but don't lock the knees out. Always leave a little bit of bend in those knees, all right? Long, slow, deep belly breaths. Let's begin. Inhale and exhale. Big, deep belly breath in and breathe out. One more time. Inhale and exhale push the hands in front of us next inhale hands up in front of the heart exhale push the palms forward inhale hands back up in front of the heart exhale relax the hands down again we'll inhale exhale inhale and exhale. Awesome. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Arms over the head next. Be kind to your shoulders. Inhale. Hands up in front of the heart. Exhale. Gently push the palms to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale once again long slow deep breath in long slow deep breath out inhale and exhale and one more time inhale exhale inhale and exhale very nice. Arms to the side. Next, inhale. Hands up in front of the heart. Exhale. Gently push the palms out. Fingertips up. Inhale. And exhale. Once again, big, deep belly breath in. Breathe out. Gently pushing out. Inhale and exhale and one more time big deep belly breath in breathing out gently pushing out inhale and exhale very nice arms in the diagonals make sure you keep the upper body straight make sure you keep looking straight ahead inhale hands up in front of the heart exhale left hand up Right hand is down. Inhale. And then exhale. Right hand up and left hand down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hands up in front of the heart. Exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Flap the arms like bird wings. Be kind to your shoulders once again. Big, deep belly breath in. Long, slow, deep breath out. Once again, we'll inhale. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Gathering chi. Inhale. We want to keep our chi strong. Exhale. When our chi is strong, our immune system is strong. Inhale, grabbing all of that good chi. Exhale, pushing that chi down into our dantian. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to do that three more times, and I want you to think about relaxation. Inhale, big, deep belly breath in. As you exhale, stress and tension leave the body flowing through the feet into the earth. Inhale, big, deep belly breath in. Let that wave of, con of uh, serenity flow over the body. And one more time. Inhale, feel that calmness washing over the body. Beautiful. All right. That's our deep breathing exercises. On Wednesday, 11.15, 11.45, uh, we do meditation. Uh, if you deal with nervousness, anxiety, uh, that's a really good uh, video to take a look at. We've done it the past two Wednesdays, so you can go back and take a look at those videos. All right? All right. Let's move along. Let's do our warm-up exercises. Twelve exercises. We have two for the neck. Then the shoulders, lower spine, hips, knees, and ankles. We're going to work our way down the body, give our body a nice overall workout, okay? So let's get started with that. Starting with the chin tuck, we look straight ahead. Keep that chin level, feel like someone's gently pushing back on the chin, all right? Number, Sophia. Is my mic okay? Sorry, a little microphone problem there for a second. All right, we're ready to go. Standing in the Wuji position, knees bent, tailbone dropped, head is lifted by a silk thread. We're going to inhale the hands up in front of us. Exhale as we tuck in the chin, looking straight ahead. Inhale, hands come out, chin gently floats up. Exhale, sink the chin down to the chest, not moving the waist, just moving the neck. Inhale, the hands up in front of us. Exhale as you tuck in the chin. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the neck. Rotate the palms out. The chin gently floats up. Exhale, sink the chin to the chest. Beautiful. One more time. We bring the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin. Nice gentle stretch on the back of the neck. Rotate the palms out. Let the chin gently float up and then sink the chin to the chest. Very nice. Next neck exercise, looking side to side. Inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Watch the right hand going over the right shoulder and gently push down on the left. I'm looking right, pushing down left. Inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, now the right hand is on top. Watch the left hand going over the left shoulder, looking left, pushing down right. Inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Watch the right hand going over the right shoulder. I'm looking right, pushing down left. Inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, right hand is on top. 
left hand, left shoulder, gently pushing down on the right. Inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. One more time, Tai Chi ball. Left hand is on top. Watch the right hand going over the right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left, not moving the shoulders. Inhale, back to center. Two prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, right hand is on top. Left hand over the left shoulder, gently pushing down on the right. And then inhale, come back to center. Come back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circles. Bring the shoulders back. Then up, forward, and down. Be gentle with your shoulders. Shoulders back. Up, forward, and down. Just make small circles if that's what you need to do. Shoulders back, up, forward, and down. Beautiful. Let's reverse that. Shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, down. Notice I'm keeping my hands down to the side. Forward, up, back, and down. Very nice. Gathering chi, we're reaching for infinity. We're opening and expanding the body. We're expanding our joints. We're expanding our muscles, all right? Inhale, gently reaching out, reaching up. And exhale, relax the hands down. Imagine that someone is gently pulling on your wrist. This is a nice gentle exercise. We're not forcing anything. Gently reaching out, reaching up. Exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. One more time. Gently reaching out, reaching up. Feel that nice stretch. And exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. On to touching heaven and earth. One of my favorites. We're lifting that head up by the silk thread. Looking at this from the side. I'm floating my head to the ceiling. I'm stretching my spine. I'm opening up this whole area of the body. Keep looking straight ahead as you do this. Enjoy that stretch. It's going to make you want to smile, uh, but we can't smile and exercise at the same time, right? No way we can do that, right? All right, prayer hand position. Left hand up, right hand down. Float that head gently to the ceiling. Feel that nice stretch. Inhale, back to center. Right hand is up, left hand is down. Gently stretch that spine. Inhale, back to center. Left hand is up, right hand is down. Float the head gently to the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Right hand is up, left hand is down. Gently stretch the spine. Inhale, back to center. One more time. Left hand up, right hand down. I float the head to the ceiling. Feel that beautiful stretch. Inhale, back to center. Right hand up, left hand down. Again, gently stretch that spine. And then inhale, come back to center. Two prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Very nice. Next exercise, we're going to take the ball, turn it side to side. I'm not going to turn my hips. I'm just turning the upper body, so I'm turning the belly button from the right to the left. Inhale, two prayer hands, Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, the ball over, right hand is on top. Exhale, gently sweep and turn right. Inhale, the ball over, left hand is on top. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, the ball over, right hand is on top. Exhale, gently sweep and turn right. Inhale, the ball over, left hand is on top. Exhale, to the left. <clears throat> Inhale, the ball over, right hand is on top. Exhale, gently sweep and turn to the right. And then inhale, the ball over, come back to center, prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. All right, beautiful. Shake those legs loose. Get yourself a quick drink of water. If you need a chair next to you, now would be the time to do that. Take that chair, turn it sideways next to you. If you need a second chair to the other side, please do so. Since I'm not able to see what you're doing, 
It's up to you to make sure that you are staying safe, okay? All right. Everybody having fun? Give me a cheer. Yay. Woo -hoo. All right. First hip exercise, side to side hip exercise, keeping the upper body nice and straight. I'm weight shifting, bending the knee, upper body stays nice and straight, not leaning out. I'm not pronating the hip out, okay? Think of your, your head, shoulders, hips over the leg, one nice straight line, okay? Prayer hand position, push to the right, bend in the right knee, and then you tap the left foot or extend the left foot out. Set the left foot down, then weight shift left. Bend in the left knee, again, keep that upper body straight, and then you can tap that right foot or extend the right foot out. Set the right foot down, weight shifts right, bend in the right knee, tap or extend the left leg, come back through center, push to the left, weight to the left, bend in the left knee, tap or extend the right leg, and come back to center. One more time, push right, weight right, tap or extend the left leg, Come back through center, push left, weight left, bend in the left knee, tap or extend the right leg. And then come back to center and relax the hands down. Very nice. Next, forward and backward hip exercise. Turning sideways just to demonstrate. I tap the heel in front of me empty, empty meaning there's no weight on it. I tap the toe behind me empty, again, empty meaning no weight on it. All the weight is staying, in this case, um, on my right leg, and I'm tapping left heel and left toe. I can extend the toe back further um, as my balance gets better, but I'm always keeping the upper body nice and straight, always keeping a bend in that leg on the ground, okay? Use your chair. This, is, this will really test your balance, okay? I like to call this the Chinese hokey pokey. Weight shifts to the right, bend in the right knee, empty left heel, hands behind us or holding onto the chair, and then empty left toe, hands in front of us. Notice separation between my feet. Empty on the heel, empty on the toe. One more time, empty heel and empty toe. And come back to center. Other side now, weight shifts to the left. Bend in that left knee, empty right heel, hands behind us. Empty right toe, hands in front of us. Empty on the heel. Empty on the toe. Beautiful, one more time, empty heel. And empty toe. And back to center. Beautiful, all right. Now here's your big balance test right here. This is the heel kick exercise. Now, if you are not comfortable doing this exercise standing, then you need to sit down and do this exercise. It's perfectly fine to sit down and do this exercise, okay? I want you to stay safe. I can't see what you're doing, so it's up to you to stay safe. So if you need to sit down and do this exercise, this is a, this is a great exercise, okay? Um, is, and this is one of the three exercises I want you to memorize. 10 minutes of deep breathing every day, heel kick exercise, um, one time, three repetitions a day, and then an ankle exercise we'll get to in just a minute, okay? But right now, let's concentrate on the heel kick, standing, seated, whatever is safe for you, all right? Four motions with the leg. First, we pick the leg up. Second, we kick the leg out. Third, we pick the leg back up and fourth, float the foot to the ground. Keep the body straight in this direction, keep the back straight in this direction. If you are able to punch out the opposite hand, great, go ahead and do that. If you need to use that hand to hold onto a chair, please do that, okay? Can you tell we're all about safety? All right, hands loosely clenched to the belt line, weight shifts to the right, pick up that left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up that left leg and float the foot to the ground. Weight shifts to the left, pick up the right leg. 
heel kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Weight shifts right, pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Use that chair if you need to, weight shifts left, pick up the right leg, and heel kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. One more time, weight shifts right, pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Weight shifts left, pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch left. Pick up the right leg and float the foot to the ground. Beautiful, shake those legs loose. Next knee exercise is the bow stance. Key. This is, this is like the gateway to doing Tai Chi. It's an empty step forward, shifting the weight forward, back stays straight, weight shifts back, come back to center. Two things I want you to think about in this exercise. First is make sure that this is an empty step forward. We're not falling forward on the front foot. As I set this foot down, heel then toe, there's no weight on the front foot. All the weight's staying on that back foot, all right? Second, looking at it from this perspective, as I step out, notice I'm keeping space between my feet. I'm not closing the feet in, not going onto a balance beam, but I keep this width between my feet, all right? This is nice and stable. All right, hands loosely clenched to the belt line. Weight shifts to the right, step out empty with the left foot, and then weight shifts left, punch out the right fist. Weight shifts back, come back to center. Weight shifts to the left, step out empty right, and then bow stance, weight shifts right, punch out the left fist. Weight shifts back, come back to center. Let me, pre let me show you this one from the side. I'm gonna stick with mirroring so I don't hurt my brain. Weight shifts to the right, step out empty left, then bow stance, notice I'm keeping my back straight as I do this. Weight shifts back, come back to center. Weight shifts to the left, step out empty right, and bow stance. Weight shifts back, come back to center. And let me do that one more time, coming towards you. Weight shifts to the right, step out empty left, Bow stance, keeping that wide stance. Weight shifts back, come back to center. Weight shifts left, step out empty right, and bow stance. Weight shifts back, come back to center. Actually, I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do it from the side. Since I'm not able to see what you're doing, to confirm that you're stepping out empty, Watch my lead foot. I'm going to let it float over the floor. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to let it float over the floor by just like about an inch and then set it down. Okay? So that's a really good way to confirm that you're stepping out empty. So, weight shifts to the right. I'm going to continue to mirror. Um, step out empty with the left foot. Notice my left foot is floating. Then I set it down and then I go into the bow stance. Now, if I really want to confirm, the weight shifts back. I float the left foot once again as I pick it up and then come back to center. Then other side, same, same, weight shifts left, step out empty right, floating that right foot in front over the ground, then setting it down, bow stance, punching out the left fist. The weight shifts back and I float that right foot over the floor once again and then pick it up and come back to center. If you're able to float that foot, uh, that it means that you truly are stepping out empty, okay? And once you get into that mode where you're constantly stepping out empty, keeping your weight back, um, very, very safe way to do things, okay? Ankle exercise, the third one that I want you to memorize. Weight shifts to the right, left foot, touch heel and toe. Heel and toe. Heel 
and toe. Then weight shifts to the left right foot. Touch heel and toe. Heel and toe. Heel and toe. And back to center. Second ankle exercise. Weight shifts to the right left foot. Touch little toe and then big toe. Outside of the foot, inside of the foot, little toe, and big toe. Then weight shift left, right foot, same, same. Touch little toe and big toe. Outside of the foot, inside of the foot, little toe, and big toe. And back to center. All right, Sophie, any questions? that they have for us. All right, shake those legs loose. Good work. Let's get a drink of water. Let's move on to part two. All right, everybody having fun? Oh, my Tai Chi joke for the week. Um, I can't tell a daily Tai Chi joke because there's just not that many Tai Chi jokes out there. Um, and this one doesn't really even apply to my students, but heck, we'll go with it, especially since I have my old man on shirt. Although somebody said I ought to put a G in front of this or a B in front of this. So never an us, I mean a gold man or a bold man. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, so Tai Chi joke for this week is, uh, why does Tai Chi make a great exercise for older people? Because they're already moving slow. <laughs> ah, Sophia liked that one. All right. But like I said, that doesn't apply to any of my students. So, um, Okay. Let's do a leg strengthening exercise. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, oh, let me see. Which one? Yeah, let's, we'll do the dragon dance, okay? So stand, standing in the Wuji position, um, focus on the body staying nice and straight as you do this one. So as I weight shift, I'm not leaning out. I keep this body nice and straight. This is a really good way to build leg strength up, all right? Oh, look, she's doing yoga. She's doing the dog work, downward dog pose. Isn't that nice of her? All right, so starting out in the Wuji. Oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. Uh, best demonstrated from the side. So uh, I'm in the cat, and as I step out empty, as I come back, make sure that you're stepping, all right? Don't just slide the foot across the floor and slide the foot back. I want you to step out and then step back. Get used to lifting that knee as you move, okay? Especially for my friends with Parkinson's. Want to make sure especially you guys are doing that, okay? All right. Weight shifts to the left. Bring the right foot in to the cat stance. Tap, right toe out in front of us, empty. And back into the cat stance. Tap, right toe out to the side. And cat stance. That's Sophia providing the meows for you today. <laughs> Tap, the right toe behind us. Keep the upper body straight. Don't lean forward as you do this. Come back into the cat stance. And step into Wuji. Awesome, other side, weight shifts right, bend in the right knee, left foot, cat stance. Tap, left toe out in front, and notice keeping space between the feet. Into the cat stance once again. Tap, left toe out to the side, empty, all the weight staying right. Come back into the cat stance and tap the left toe behind us. And back into the cat stance. And Wuji position, awesome, shake those legs loose. Notice as I'm doing this exercise, I'm folding my hands over my Dantian. Dantian's located just below the belly button. Um, if you wanna do this in the traditional Chinese way, Ladies will put their right hand on the Dantian and cover with the left. 
and gentlemen will put the left hand in and cover with the right, okay? Um, so if you need to use a chair, please do use the chair. Um, but if you're holding your hands, don't put them in your pockets like one of my students, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but instead, say what? <laughs> I didn't say her name. All right. Round two, we're going to add a little bit of weight shift in. Weight shifts to the left, right foot cat stance once again. Tap, right toe out in front, empty. Set the right foot down, and now weight shift to the right. Bring all the way to the right, and then tap the left toe or float the left toe behind us. Set the left foot down. Weight shifts back onto the left and right cat stance. Tap, right toe out to the side, empty. Keep all your weight left. Set the right foot down, I'm still keeping my weight left. Now, I weight shift, keeping the upper body straight. All the weights onto the right, tap the left toe or float the left toe. Set the left foot down. Keep weight right, now shift weight left. All the weights left, right cat once again. Then tap the right toe behind us. Notice I'm keeping space between the feet. I'm not leaning forward. I set the right foot down. I weight shift back onto the right, keeping the back straight. I tap or float left toe in front of me. Set the left foot down. Weight shifts left, right cat stance, and step out into Wuji. Yeah. Weight shifts to the right, left foot, cat stance. Tap, left toe out in front. Set the left foot down with no weight on it. Now shift the weight left. All the weights left so I can tap or float the right toe behind me. Set the right foot down. Weight shifts back onto the right and left cat once again. Tap, left toe out to the side. Set the left foot down. Now weight shift left. All the weights left so I can tap or float the right toe. Set the right foot down, weight shifts back to the right, and left cat. And tap the left toe behind me. Again, space, notice space between the feet. Set the left foot down, weight shifts back onto the left, all the weights left, tap or float right toe. Set the right foot down, weight shifts to the right, and left cat stance and step into Wuji. <laughs> Shake the legs loose. <laughs> um, Sophia and her friends took a class with me, my Thursday evening class. And for some reason, while I was doing that exercise, they started meowing. And it kind of became a thing, if you will. So, so much so that some of my other students from classes started doing it in other classes. So it started spreading out and becoming more of a thing. Um, a so yes, Sophia is a trendsetter. Um, and the funniest example of that is one of my students while trying to meow, came out more like a tiger roar and scared the bejeebers out of a lady in front of her, so. It was, it was rather humorous, but it, instead of sounding like a meow, it kind of sounded like a mountain lion growling. Um, anyway, and so that's the whole reason why she does the meow stuff. It's, the, it's your comedy relief for today, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's, let's do a hand exercise. Uh, let's, let's do the exciting one, all right? So pointer finger and thumb, make them into a nice circle. Interlock the two circles together. Touch the tips of the other three fingers as best as you can, and then gently push the palms towards one another. Keep the arms parallel to the ground. Make sure you're in that Wuji position. Then relax the hands. 
Now, middle finger and thumb. Again, beautiful circle. Interlock those two circles. Touch the tips of the other three fingers and gently push the palms towards one another. And relax. Next, the ring finger and the thumb. Beautiful circle. Interlock those two. Tips of the other three fingers, gently pushing the palms towards one another. Relax. And then finally, the pinky and the thumb. This is the most exciting one to do. Interlock those two. Touch the tips of the other three fingers and gently push the palms towards one another. Notice my arms are parallel to the ground. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. And then relax the hands. Beautiful. Shake those hands loose. Your hands are probably nice and pink right now. What was that? <laughs> Egyptian. Uh, pretend like you have a pencil in your mouth and you're drawing the number eight laying on its side nice and slow and easy. Rice Krispies, right? And when you get to the center, stop, then reverse, back in the other direction. And when you get to the center, stop. Beautiful. Um, let's do... Uh, oh, let's do a shoulder exercise. Some people need a shoulder exercise. So left hand, upper part of the left chest, and with the elbow, make a forward circle. Keep that upper body straight. Do whatever size circle your body allows you to do. Don't force your shoulder. And when you get to the bottom, stop and then reverse and go back in the other direction. Again, nice and easy, nice and slow. Just trying to open up that shoulder joint. And now we shift to the right side, same, same. Right hand, upper part of the right chest, forward shoulder circle, moving that elbow gently forward. And when you get to the bottom, stop and reverse. Nice and gentle. Sounds like popcorn sometimes, doesn't it? Beautiful. Now, let's do the prayer wheel. Weight shifting forward and backwards. Very similar to the bow stance, except in the uh, bow stance, we're stepping out empty. We do our weight shifting, and then the weight shifts back, and we come back to center. Here in the prayer wheel, we're just going to keep shifting the weight forward and shifting the weight backwards. Work on the weight shifting part first. My back is staying straight. My knees are staying bent. So work on the weight shifting part first. Once you have the weight shifting down, then add the hands in like you're holding on to a ball and moving that ball in a big, beautiful circle. Notice I'm not bringing the arms up over the level of the shoulders. My fingers are down. My fingers rotate up. Okay? This is called the prayer wheel. It's a great meditative exercise. Prayer hand position. Weight shifts to the right. Step out empty left and begin. Exhale, weight shifts forward. Inhale, weight shifts back. Keep those feet rooted to the ground. Exhale. And inhale. Weight shifts forward. Weight shifts back. Exhale. Inhale. One more time on this side. Exhale. And inhale. All the weight is on the right. Pick up that left foot. Come back to center. Then I weight shift left. I step out empty right and continue. Exhale, and inhale. Weight shifts forward. 
weight shifts back. Exhale. Inhale. Weight shift forward. Keep those feet rooted. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, weights on the left, right foot is empty, pick up the right foot, come back to center, relax the hands down, version two. Weight shifts to the right, step out empty left. Bring the hands up, shoulder height, palms facing the ground. Then weight shift forward, bringing the hands together. Then rotate the palms up, and as the weight shifts back, bring the hands down to the belt line. Once again, we weight shift forward and weight shift back. Exhale, inhale. We're doing the very same thing with our weight shifting. Exhale, inhale. Just doing something a little different with the arms. Exhale, inhale. Now, you can really use this one to open up and expand the shoulder. The hands come back, expand the chest. Reaching out, then forward, expand the back. And expand the chest. One more time, reaching out, opening the shoulder and elbow. Exhale. And inhale. All the weight is right. Pick up that left and come back to center. Weight shifts left. Step out, empty right and continue. Exhale and inhale. Weight shifts forward, weight shifts back. Exhale, inhale. Weight shifts forward, weight shifts back. Couple more times. Exhale, Inhale, weight shifts forward, and weight shifts back. All the weight is now on the left, right foot is empty. Pick up the right foot, come back to center, and relax the hands down. Really good, shake those legs loose, all right. Good little workout, isn't it? And we're not done yet, all right. How are we doing, Sophia, any questions? All right. Awesome. Thank you. Um, okay, so remember, I'm hoping that you will send pictures in so your fellow classmates can uh, see pictures of you doing Tai Chi. And if you are new and you haven't been to one of my classes yet, that's okay. Please send your picture in. I uh, always like to see new faces, so send a picture in. Say, haven't been to a class, you may be somewhere else in the country. That's okay. Send your picture in. Let's get in the gallery. Um, I think this is important during these times that we stay socially connected, and we can use Tai Chi for that social connection. So use those pictures to help keep us socially connected. And like I said, if you're able to include a short message, I'll try and put that in with each picture. No guarantee about that but I'll do the best I can, all right? Um, okay, so let's look at Tai Chi for arthritis. Uh, this is the Soon style of Tai Chi. Uh, the Tai Chi for arthritis form was developed by Dr. Paul Lam, um, uh, who's an amazing practitioner, just an amazing man and amazing teacher. Uh, I know some of you out there have had a chance to study with him. What, what, a, great guy, what a great man. Um, anyway. So he did, uh, he took the Soon 73 and, and uh, developed the Tai Chi for arthritis form, now recommended by the CDC, best exercise you can do for balance, okay? Let's take a look at the, let me see, let's take a look at commencement today, okay? Commencement is a very beautiful move, and the Soon style is a little different than the Chen style. So when we start out, and we're in the Wuji position, the first thing we do is separate yin and yang energies. That's that, the whole stepping out movement is separating yin and yang energies. So when we do an opening yang style, um, we separate the energy side to side. 
So the weight, I'm not gonna mirror as I do this. Weight shifts to the right. I step out with the left foot. I center my weight and I bring my hands up in front of me. Okay, that's the Yang style opening. The Chen style is even more exciting. The Chen style opening is weight shifts to the right. I step out with the left. I bring the hands up slightly on the left. I come back to center. And then I bring the hands all the way up on the left. All right, that's the Chen style opening. But in Yang and Chen, we separate Yin and Yang by doing a sideways step. In the Soon style, Soon Lutang separates yin and yang by making a step forward, not stepping to the side, but the step forward uh, separates that yin and yang energy from one another, okay? So let me demonstrate the opening from the side, and then we will, we'll, we'll take a little bit more detailed look, and then we'll do the whole form together, okay? So my heels are together, my feet are out at a 45 degree angle. I'm showing this to you from the side so you get an idea of the beautiful curves involved with this move. So that prayer hand movement that we do start, helps us start out this commencement. Fingers facing towards the earth, rotate fingers towards heaven. I circle the hands down to the Dan Tien as I shift the weight to the right. I bring the hands up and that picks up my left foot. I step out empty with the left then I shift my weight gently onto the left as I reach out with my hands. That brings the right foot forward, and then my hands come back up into prayer hand position. Okay? So let's try that from the front now. Any questions? Just raise your hand. Shout it out if you have a question. Sophia's man at the keyboard, so if you do have a question, you can type it in, okay? Heels together, feet at a 45-degree angle. I bring my hands up in front of me. Notice my hands are at shoulder height, not going above shoulder height. I rotate my fingers up, sink down, modified Wuji position, weight shifts to the right. I step out empty with the left foot, then the weight shifts forward onto the left. I bring the right foot forward and hands come back to the chest in two prayer hands. Okay. Always think of curving as you're doing the, this uh, commencement. It's in a nice, beautiful curve. My hands start here, they come up, they sink down, they come back up, and then they go out, and then they come back into the chest. It's this beautiful curving motion, okay? All right, so now, um, in week number one, I went through Tai Chi for arthritis, part one, what Dr. Lam calls the basic six. And since he developed it, he's allowed to name them whatever he wants. Um, so I went into detail on the Tai Chi for Arthritis Basic Six. And I've labeled those videos. If you look into the description, you'll see instructions on the Basic Six. The next day I went into the Advanced Six, which is the brush knee sequence. So if you're having trouble with any of those moves, go back, watch those videos. Which reminds me, Sophia helped remind me, I need to label last week's video. It just occurred to me I did not do that as of yet. Sorry, my, my bad. Um, I was looking for ways for us to stay in community with one another. Anyway, so we're going to go through the Tai Chi for arthritis, realizing that some of you, this may be the first time that you've seen it, and some of you may have been doing this for years, and that's okay. We can both get benefit from it. Uh, but if you're one of those that are seeing this for the first time or you have questions, um, go back, check out those earlier videos. You can always email me with questions, okay? So let's walk through it. Um, I'm going to do it with, with uh, light instructions or gentle cueing, okay? But first I'm going to get a drink because I want to stay hydrated. All right, so standing heels together, feet at a 45 degree angle. I'm doing the follow on view today. So let's begin with commencement, picking the hands up in front of us, sinking down, think curve, weight shifts to the right. Bring that left foot up, step out empty left. Gently extending the hands forward, that brings that right foot forward. Come back into prayer hands, open and close. Single whip to the right, weight shifts left. I adjust the right foot, push both hands forward and then flatten those hands out. Cloud hands three times to the right, weight shifts left, right foot in, right hand down. 
Step out with the right, shift hands and sweep weight to the right. Step, shift, and sweep. Step, shift, sweep. Step in, keep space between the feet, shift, and sweep. One more time, step, shift, sweep, step, shift, come back over to the left like you're going to do it again, bring the right hand up, back into prayer hands, open, and close. Single whip to the right, wait, or to the left, I weight shift right, I adjust that left foot, push both hands forward and flatten the hands out. Cloud hands three times to the left, weight shifts right, left foot in, left hand down. Step out left, shift hands, sweep and weight shift left. I step in, shift hands, sweep and weight shift right. Step, shift, sweep, step, shift, sweep. One more time, step out, keeping all the weight right, as I shift my hands, then I sweep my weight. I step in with the right foot, leaving plenty of space. The weight stays left, and now I shift the weight to the right. Come back up to center, open, and close. Brush knee sequence, this is the advanced six to the left. Weight shifts left, toe in right. Sink the weight right, sweeping step. Weight shifts onto the left, Half step, right foot. Play the loop. Step back empty on the right, shift weight right. Half step, left foot. Parry and punch, turn the thumbs to the front. Step out empty left and shift weight. Step out empty right, turn the thumbs to the back and shift weight. And then step out empty left, block left, punch right, half step, right foot. Embracing the tiger, right hand wipes off the back of the left, half step left foot, pushing the mountain, half step left foot, or I'm sorry, right foot, turn back to the front, adjust the feet if you need to, open and close. Brush knee sequence right, weight shifts right, toe in left, sink weight left, turn, step out empty, and brush knee, half step. Turn the palms in as we play the lute, step back empty left, shift weight left, half step right. Parry and punch, turn the thumbs to the front, step out right, shift weight. Step out left, thumbs to the back, shift weight. And then step out right, block with the right, punch with the left, half step left foot. Embracing the tiger, step back onto the left, hands to the chest, half step right foot, and pushing the mountain, half step left foot. Turn back to the front, adjust the feet, open and close, and then we close the form. Hands out in front of us, come back up to the standing position, weights onto the right, step in with the left, and then if Jeff were here, he would go, ta-da. All right. How'd that go for everybody? Good, thumbs up. Okay. So um, that will do it for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna do seated Tai Chi from 10 to 11. We're gonna do our seated warm-ups. We're gonna do seated Shabashi. Then we're gonna stand up uh, we're going to take a 15 minute break tomorrow then 11 15 to 12 15 we're going to do more advanced tai chi we'll do the breathings and the warm-ups of course um, a few qigong but then we're going to work on shibashi that i've i've gone through some uh, some uh, several videos uh, giving detailed instructions on shibashi uh, it's a little bit more of an active form but uh, i think you guys can do that okay um, so that will be tomorrow and then Wednesday we'll have Tai Chi for everybody in the morning. We'll have meditation happening 1215 to 1145 and then we'll work on the Tai Chi for Arthritis Part 2. Uh, we'll work on that in that third session from noon until 1. 
okay make sure you send me your pictures in your best Tai Chi poses you can do single whip you can do um, you can do the golden rooster stands on one leg you can do a presentation you can do cloud hands whatever works for you Sophia says we have a question what about World Tai Chi Day um, I don't have a really good answer for that so the official World Tai Chi Day has been canceled for the end of April and scheduled uh, for the last Saturday in May. Okay, the problem with that is is that presents a conflict for me. Uh, my oldest daughter Jessica is graduating, and that was the day we had scheduled her graduation party. Uh, we are kind of waiting it out to see what happens with that. Uh, but I can't do World Tai Chi Day and my daughter's graduation on the same day. That's not going to work out well. So I don't have a really good solution. I'm thinking about, um, and it looks like uh, this, um, well, the county park we're going to have it in is going to be closed. So um, I'm trying to think of a solution, something that uh, maybe uh, we can do special. Um, I'm thinking about doing one thing for what would have been World Tai Chi Day. And then when, I, when everything starts opening up and going again, that we'll just schedule our own World Tai Chi Day. Uh, is kind of what I'm thinking right now. If you have any thoughts, go ahead and email those to me. Okay, that was probably Shannon, right? Yeah, thanks, Shannon. You're awesome. Um, okay, uh, we're running a little over time. Let's do our three cool down exercises. Lightly punch, slap the legs. I still have shirts for everybody. The people that we ordered shirts from, I have those shirts. We'll figure out how to get those to you when all of this is over, okay? Uh, but I'm holding on to those, and I, I've got your names, all right? Tighten up all the muscles in the body, and relax. Again, tighten up the muscles, and relax. Tighten up the muscles, and relax. Ah, a little Tai Chi on YouTube. That would be interesting. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one more time. Big deep belly breath in and breathe out. Beautiful. Have yourselves a great Monday. Thanks for joining in. Send me those pictures. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a great day, all right? Thank you.